brother, a young, energetic, full of life firefighter. We continue to follow developing news. New Haven's bravest mourning the loss of a brother. A rookie firefighter was killed last night after an accident on 91 North in the Elm City. He was off duty at the time and standing right outside of his disabled car when he was hit by another car. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right outside New Haven's Engine 10 with more on what happened here. Matt. Well, Mark and Aaron, flags around the city are at half staff. You can see behind me that the bunting is up over the door of Engine 10 here on Lombard Street. You know, for the city and this fire department, it's a deep grief that's growing. That's because the chief tells us this now marks the third straight recruit class to lose a member. Tearful hugs trying to comfort the hurt and the hole left in the hearts of those at Engine 10 on Lombard Street. Thomas loved the fire department. He was just hired in January. But last night, 27-year-old Thomas Mielis, a rookie firefighter who grew up here in the Elm City, was killed in an accident up on 91 North near Exit 8 in New Haven. Never in our wildest dreams did we realize that the person that was being rescued and resuscitated was one of our own. It's been a very difficult time for our department. According to the state police, Mielis' car became disabled in the left-hand lane of 91. That's when two other cars pulled over to help. At that point, another vehicle uh, ended up hitting them and sideswiped a fifth vehicle. So there's five vehicles involved, which in turn ended up causing another collision and uh, ultimately hitting one of the pedestrians that was standing outside. State police tell us they've had a number of recent incidents involving pedestrians getting hit on Connecticut highways. We encourage people to stay in their vehicles. They say if your car becomes disabled, try getting it as far off to the right side of the road as possible. Staying inside your vehicle is, is your best bet and call 911 immediately. Uh, if you can't stay in the vehicle, perhaps there's a car fire, uh, get out of your car and go to a safe location as quickly as possible. And as state police investigate, Mielis' co-workers will now need to be there for each other as they remember their fallen brother. He loved his job. Uh, real good hearted person. You now, firefighter Thomas Mielis leaves behind his family and a fiance. We're told the city will have peer support staff, not just at this firehouse, but all across New Haven to help a department that is dealing with this deep grief. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.